Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to add a voiceover file to Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Now there are two ways to add a voiceover in Doodly. The first one is to use the little microphone icon down below. The other way, which is the way I'm going to go over today, is to create your voiceover externally and then import it into Doodly. Now this is very common if you hire somebody to do the voiceover for you. They'll just send you an mp3 file and then you import it into Doodly. Keep in mind that mp3 is king. So you're going to want to request your voiceover artist to send you an mp3 file. Doodly accepts these files just fine. Now you have a choice. You can upload your voiceover file first and then build the video around it or you can build the video first and upload your voiceover after the fact. My preference is put the audio in first. It's so much easier to time the graphics to the existing audio than the other way around. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go over to our sounds tab. Click the blue plus sign and navigate to your files. So here's my audio file. I did a couple paragraphs of A Tale of Two Cities. And I'm just going to simply drag it into the timeline. And you'll see here it is. It's about a minute long. And obviously I'm not going to create a one minute video about this tale of two cities right now, but I did want to show you how it works. Okay. So I'm just going to build a couple quick scenes. Now, as you're working with audio, I find it really helpful to use this little show preview tool here. And you'll see you have a little player here. That it was the best of times that corresponds with the timeline down here. So you can fast forward and listen to specific parts of the video, okay? And you can see where you are in the timeline. And I do find that's helpful. So for example, say we want this scene to end with the audio here. So I'm gonna place my playhead here and I'm gonna adjust the timing to match. One trick you can do is just slide it over and that will adjust all of the different elements so that it fits here. This may or may not be what you want, but it is a quick little shortcut. And while I'm at it, I am going to turn the audio down a bit. I'm going to go down to 50%. I find that Doodly tends to boost it a little louder than I like. And again, I'm just going to cheat here. I'm going to make these scenes extra long by dragging. So you'll see it's going to take him a long time to draw this character because I stretched it out. So it's 26 seconds. Again, that's not exactly what I particularly want, but it is a little shortcut. Now right here, I have a pretty large pause. Now what if I don't want that pause? What if I want to do a little bit of basic audio editing within Doodly? You can do that. It's a little tricky, but it is doable. So what I want to do, let's go ahead and make this scene here slightly longer to right at the end of this audio here. Okay. Now I want to move this closer. I don't want a three second pause in between the narrations. So what I will do is I'm going to make another track by clicking add track. And I'm going to add that audio once again to the second track. Okay, I need to move it over so they both, oops. So they're identical, okay? Now, what I wanna do is shrink this first track so it ends here. And then I wanna take the second track I want to get rid of all this beginning part. So I'm just going to shrink it down. And then I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. 
So here's my gap, one, two, two and a half seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna move it closer and I've closed the gap. So I have the beginning portion here and the ending portion here and then no more gap. Likewise, if I had wanted a larger gap between the two, I could do that same technique, but then move this down here. Now this is fine in a pinch if you have one or two audio edits that you want to do. It works great. But if you have a whole bunch of audio edits you want to do, then I recommend doing that externally in another program. So an audio editor of some sort. A lot of people like to use Audacity for this. But if you just have one or two, this is super easy to do. It just gets clumsy the more you have. And again, I can tighten up this ending here so it ends there. And then finally, another thing that you can do is import multiple files. So for example, if I were to import once again, and browse, you'll see that I have two more here. I've got a one and a two. So I'm gonna go ahead and import those. And those are basically the cuts that I made here. So if you wanted to have smaller files to work with, or if you know that you're gonna have gaps between them, then you can break them up into smaller files and then they're easy to work with. So let's go ahead and delete these. And then I'll go over to the beginning and I'll add my first one. And then I'll add my second one to this second track here. And then I can place it wherever I'd like. And you don't need a second track. If you want to keep it all on one, you can do that as well just by moving it up there. And that's the basics with working with voiceover files in Doodly. Thanks for watching.